properties of the chord of a circle. A perpendicular from the center of the circle bisects the chord. If we carefully take a look in this statement, there are three things we are talking about. Number one, a line that is containing the center of the circle and extending from the center of the circle it is meeting the chord AB at point P. The second thing to be noted is that this line which is extending from the center of the circle is making an angle of 90 degree. So two things. Number one, the line extending from the center of the circle or containing the center of the circle and number two it's making an angle of 90 degree and if both of these things can happen then what is obvious is that AP is equal to PB means that P bisects the chord AB means that P is in the middle of AB and if we take a look at the second property, again the same, th same thing is being said, but the order, the way things are being said, that is different. A perpendicular bisector of the card of circle passes through the center of the circle. This time, the 90 degree angle is given, AP is equal to PB is given, and what is obvious now, that the line is passing through the center of the circle. In third property, what is being said, the line is passing through the center of the circle and it's bisecting the card AB means that AP is equal to PB and what is obvious is that it's making an angle of 90 degree. If we put this information into an arrow diagram, we can certainly say this thing is true about these three properties that line extends from center of the circle from center of the circle or it contains the center of the circle. That's one thing. Let's call it one. And number two, what it says that line OP is a line OP makes an angle of 90 degree at at the point of contact that is P and the third thing which is being said here is this P biceps the card so if you take one and two true or obvious uh, if one and two are given then three is obvious if two and three are given then one is obvious if three and one are given then two is obvious so all these three things are interrelated and two of them are given then third is true so based on this fact let's do a couple of questions here to uh, enhance our understanding of this property. Here it is given that point O is center of the circle and the line segment OC bisects the card AB. So C is the middle point between A and B means AC is equal to CB. So O is containing what we observe here or whatever is given here given is that point O is center of the circle and the line OC means that the line OC contains the center of circle 
line OC contains center of circle and also it bisects the card and so this is one thing that is given and two is given that AC is equal to CB means that C bisects the card then according to the properties we just learned isn't it obvious that the angle what is being made here is 90 degree so this angle obviously is 90 degree because that's the statement of those properties that if the O is center of the circle contained on the line and C is bisecting the card AB then the angle is 90 degree obviously that's the given and what is required of us uh, and also one more information is given here that this angle OAC why this angle OAC is written as OAC is the point where the angle is being made that always comes in the middle and the two arms OA and AC are included to make an angle of 33 degree at point A which we have in the figure and now if that is the case then we have to answer two questions one we have to find x and other we have to find y let's find y easily so answers are the first part of the question is that now when this angle here is 90 degree then the sum of all the angles in a triangle is always 180 degree that's for sure we know that this is a fact that sum of all the angles inside a triangle is 180 degree therefore y plus 90 plus 33 is equal to 180 degree or in other words if you make use of those complementary angle like if one angle is 90 degree then the sum of the other two angles must be 90 degree so y plus 33 is equal to 90 degree if you subtract 90 from the other side you get the same thing so y would be equal to what 90 minus 33 so what is 90 minus 33 is 57 is equal to 57 degrees so one question is answered now the and the other question is also very simple to answer because OA and OB are both radius of the circle so since OA and OB are radius of the circle so OA is equal to OB so these two sides of the triangle thus from triangle OAB OA if we take a look at the triangle OAB then that triangle OAB is an isosceles triangle because it has two sides equal and from the theorems of geometry one of the theorem is that two sides of if two sides of a triangle are equal their opposite angles are also equal if OA is equal to OB then the angle opposite to OA is what angle opposite to opposite to OA 
side is equal to x and angle opposite to OB is equal to 33. From the definition of isosceles triangle, this x is equal to 33 because since in isosceles triangle angles opposite to equal sides are equal so x is equal to 33 degree both of the questions are answered see in these questions it will always require you some pre knowledge of the geometry and if you don't know the proof at least knowing those theorems will help you to understand these circle questions better now the next question is here is the point O is center of the circle AB is the diameter if AB is the diameter then 13 is half of 26 that is for sure going to be the radius and just reading half of the statement I know for sure that I am going to need this OC which is radius and this is 13 centimeter and I'm also going to need OD which is also radius and it's 13 centimeter as well and here O C A okay here P let's call this point P and O P is also given which is 10 centimeter so point O is center of the circle, AB is the diameter with the length 26 centimeter, CD is the card which is 10 centimeter, CD is the card which is 10 centimeter from center of the circle, so OP is 10 centimeter. What is the length of the card CD? So we want to find out the length of the card CD. Now if we take out this triangle OC, uh, OCP or if we take OPD. So let's take consider triangle OCP. OCP. Now OP which is perpendicular. OP which is perpendicular is given that it's equal to 10 centimeter and OC which is hypotenuse is also given this is 13 centimeter and we don't know what CP is. CP is equal to unknown but one thing we know from the uh, property of the card is that this angle is 90 degree and if this angle is 90 degree then obviously we can make use of the Pythagoras theorem then from Pythagoras theorem then from Pythagoras theorem OC square is equal to CP square plus OP square. So OC square is 13 square is equal to CP square is something that we want to find out. OP is 10. That's 10 square and this will give us CP square equal to 169 minus 100 and that would give us the value of uh, 69 CP square CP square is equal to 69 
and CP is equal to 69 square root and if we take square root this is 8.307 CP is equal to 8.307 now from the properties of the card if this is 8.307 if this distance is 8.307 then same is this distance CP because P is the midpoint as P is midpoint so CP is equal to PD thus CP will be uh, CD will be equal to CP plus PD and both are 8.307 plus 8.307 so the answer must be equal to 16.614 16 point six one four centimeter.